minerals are natural chemical compounds found in rocks and ores. They are formed through various geological processes taking place on the earth. They are uniform in composition and structure. Characteristics of Minerals Minerals are classified in several ways. Geologists classify minerals according to their chemical compositions. Some minerals have a crystalline structure. They occur in a solid state as simple substances or natural compounds. Some minerals have similar composition and properties and may consist of one or more than one element. They are homogeneous and are natural inorganic substances. Minerals occur in different types of rocks. Some are found in igneous rocks and metamorphic rocks, while others are found in sedimentary rocks. Minerals extracted in their raw or natural states from the deep level of the earth are known as mineral ores. The ores contain some impurities which have to be processed before use. Minerals are identified on the basis of their physical and chemical properties. Physical properties are color, hardness and solubility. Color Coal is black or brown. Quartz may be red, black, pink or purple. Hardness a mineral may be as hard as a diamond or as soft as talc. Solubility Some minerals like common salt, gypsum and potash salts are soluble in water, but quartz is not soluble. Generally, minerals are classified into two categories, metallic and non-metallic. Metallic minerals. They are those from which metals such as iron, copper, silver, gold are derived. These metals are strong, good conductors of heat and electricity and ductile. They are mostly found in nature as ores. Metallic minerals can be further subdivided into ferrous containing iron and non-ferrous containing metals other than iron. Some common ferrous minerals are iron ore, manganese ore, chromite, pyrite, nickel and cobalt. Some non-ferrous metals are gold, silver, they are also known as precious metals, copper, lead, bauxite, tin and magnesium. Non-metallic minerals are used widely. They include limestone, nitrate, potash, mica and gypsum. Some metals are heavy iron and some are light like aluminium and apart from them there are alloys like bronze. Bronze is an alloy of copper and tin. Coal and petroleum are mineral fuels. They are found in sedimentary rocks. Mining Minerals are dug out from the surface or deep down from the earth. Extracting of minerals for commercial purposes is known as mining. The ground is dug or excavated for minerals from a mine. Surface mines are called quarry. Many factors affect mining for commercial purposes. There should be enough concentration of minerals to be mined. The value of the metal or mineral is important. Minerals of high value like gold, diamonds, silver can be mined at a high cost because they are in great demand and fetch high prices. Men would go to inhabit remote places like Alaska, Siberia, the Australian desert to mine them. Most of the minerals are bulky, such as iron and coal. Cheap labor and transport facilities are necessary to mine them and to take them to manufacturing factories.
the cost of mining minerals must be taken into consideration. Sometimes, in spite of rich deposits, minerals are not exploited because of economic conditions. The quality or the grade of the ore is also important. If the quality is not good, then it is not worth mining it. Sometimes, physical conditions make it difficult to mine the minerals. For example, Mineral deposits in deserts or tropical forests have not been mined due to difficult living conditions. An important characteristic of mineral resources is their uneven distribution over the world. Some areas are very rich in a variety of mineral resources such as the Ural Mountains in Russia, the Canadian Shield and South Africa, while large areas like the Amazon Basin, the Netherlands, Denmark, Bangladesh are poor in minerals. Some minerals are found in great abundance in only a few regions of the world. For example, most of the world supply of tin comes from Eastern Asia, of Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand and China. Canada has more than half of world's reserves of nickel. More than 60% of the world supply of gold comes from South Africa. It is clear that minerals occur in certain formations and concentrations. Veins and Lodes Minerals may occur in cracks, crevices, falls or joints in the rocks. Veins are smaller and the lodes are larger varieties of such occurrences. They are thus associated mostly with igneous or metamorphic rocks. Most of the minerals get solidified at different temperatures and different levels of the earth. Most of the major metals such as tin, copper, silver, lead and zinc are found in veins and lodes. Sedimentary ore deposits They occur in beds or layers formed by deposition accumulation and concentration in the earth's crust. Coal and some grades of iron ore are formed in this manner as a result of long periods under heat and pressure. Weathering Bauxite, the ore of aluminium, is formed by deep weathering of a variety of rocks under tropical conditions and seasonal rainfall. Alluvial or placer deposits the rivers carry sediments of various eroded rock particles. The minerals found in alluvial soils are called placer deposits. They resist erosion by water. Tin, gold, platinum are examples of placer deposits. Iron Iron is the most widely used metal. It is the backbone of modern civilization. It is a metal of universal use. All manufacturing of machines, agricultural implements and items of general use needs iron. Iron ores are of four varieties. Magnetite, containing 72% of iron. Hematite, contains 60% to 70% of iron, limonite, 40% to 60% of iron, and siderite, 40 to 50% of iron. If the metallic content of the ores is less than 30%, its mining is not profitable due to the high cost. The main iron-producing countries are Ukraine, Kazakhstan, USA, China, Brazil, Australia and India. Siberia and South Africa have iron ore deposits with over 60% of iron content. In India, Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh have iron ore deposits. India shares about 20% of the world reserve of iron ore and ranks 6th in the world in iron ore production. 
Japan is the main importer of Indian iron ore. Copper It is mainly used in electrical industries because of its quality of electrical conductivity. It is one of the earliest metals used by men. The use of copper was recorded in Egypt as early as 5000 BC. Copper is a very soft metal, but by mixing it with tin, bronze can be obtained. Its ore is found in Chile, USA, Canada, Poland, Russia, Kazakhstan, Georgia, Armenia, Congo and Zambia. In India, reserves of copper are found in Jharkhand and Rajasthan. Bauxite Aluminium is extracted from bauxite using electrolysis smelting process, which requires large amounts of electrical energy. Aluminium is a light metal used in manufacturing of aeroplanes, utensils and other household goods. It is produced mostly in developed countries where abundant electricity is available at a low cost. Australia, Guinea, Jamaica and Brazil lead in the world besides USA, Russia, Canada, Germany and Japan too have bauxite deposits. India has rich bauxite deposits in Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu. Power or Energy Resources There are three sources of power energy. Fire, sun and a natural hot springs give direct heat and are a source of energy. Energy is derived from electricity which can be produced by burning fossil fuels. Energy stored in a battery is called stored energy. There are five principal sources of energy. Coal, natural oil, natural gas, falling water, that is hydroelectricity, and nuclear power. The first three account for 85% of the world's production of commercial energy. Hydroelectric power and nuclear power account for 13%. Coal, oil and natural gas are of organic origins and they are also called fossil fuels. They are also non-renewable sources of power. Sources of energy are categorized as conventional and non-conventional sources. Conventional sources are coal, petroleum, natural gas and electricity, both thermal and hydel. Non-conventional sources are solar, wind, tidal, geothermal, atomic energy and biogas. Conventional sources have been in use for quite some time, while non-conventional sources are new. In developing countries, people still use firewood, charcoal, animal residue like cow dung and crop residue such as stalks of harvested plants as fuels. This energy from plants and animals is renewable. Electricity This is the most important source of energy used for both lighting and power. Three chief means of production of electricity are thermal, hydel and nuclear. Hydroelectricity This is an important renewable resource. Certain natural conditions are favorable to the development of water power. They are heavy rainfall, evenly distributed throughout the year so that rivers maintain a constant flow. High mountains so that rivers flow swiftly. Waterfalls which are very advantageous and an absence of very cold winters so that rivers do not freeze. It is the cheapest form of power and a renewable source of power. Hydroelectricity is generated by using the energy of the falling water to rotate the turbines. In India, hydroelectricity is generated from the dams built at Metur on Kaveri River, Hirakud 
on Mahanadi River and Bhakra on Sutlaj River. Tennessee Valley Authority in USA and Damodar Valley Project in West Bengal consist of a number of dams and power stations. Thermal Power Electricity is generated by using fossil fuels like coal or oil or radioactive minerals like uranium. These minerals provide heat energy which is converted into electricity. This is called thermal electricity. Thermal power plants are based on non-renewable minerals. Nuclear power it is based on the release of energy during spontaneous disintegration of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. This energy is used for generation of electricity in nuclear power stations. Countries of Western Europe and USA account for 70% of nuclear power stations. Other leading countries are Russia, Ukraine and Japan. And natural hot springs give non-conventional sources of energy. Non-conventional sources of energy are not based on any fossil fuels. They are also renewable sources of energy. All the sources of this energy are based on using the sun's energy. Wind, tides, oceans, geothermal and hydrogen are different forms of energy derived from the sun. These are also called alternative energy sources. Solar energy The energy reaching the Earth's surface from the sun is tremendous. Though tapping of solar energy is recent, yet great progress has been made. In many countries, it is being used for cooking and heating purposes. Solar collectors are used to trap solar energy and they can heat water for homes. Photovoltaic cells convert sunlight directly into electricity. Some countries like Japan, France, Germany, USA, Canada and India are producing photovoltaic cells. Solar energy is still in the early stages of the development. Wind energy Recently, wind power has been used to generate electricity also. But wind power is not totally reliable as it is highly variable in time, place and intensity. The places where wind power has been developed, large wind farms dominate the skyline in hilly or coastal areas. Areas where there is great potential to develop this power are the Pacific Northwest Coastal Area and the coastal region of the Northeastern USA and Southern California. The Netherlands in Europe has used windmills for many decades. Now the Gujarat and Tamil Nadu coast are trying to tap this energy in India. Geothermal Energy the heat found in the interior of the earth is converted into electricity to form geothermal energy. Italy developed this energy in 1904 to produce electricity. Now Russia, Japan, New Zealand, Iceland, Mexico, Hawaii and California in USA are trying to convert natural internal heat into electricity. In India, Tata Bani in Chhattisgarh has a geothermal plant with a capacity of 300 kilowatts.